Greetings dear friends, I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Cadillac CTS. The Cadillac CTS of this generation could only be rear wheel drive. According to the American tradition, the transmission is made very thoroughly, but the only regularly occurring drawback can be quite serious. A weak rubber metal universal joint coupling is located in the zone that warms up well from the muff mufflers and its resource in the plug driving mode often doesn't exceed 50,000 km. If you are regularly in yield, then even less. A broken clutch will damage the body and the automatic transition selector. Propeller shafts, rear gear and CV joints are very reliable and often do not require repair throughout the life of the machine. Of course, you will have to change the oil in the gearbox and monitor the condition of the CV joints and carbon cross spaces, but if you are lucky, there will be no problems up to 200,000. Maybe there will be more problems with the V8 engine, but there are practically no most powerful CTS in Russia. There are theoretically mechanical gearboxes on the CTS, but in practice, finding a car with a manual transmission will not work. Before restyling, there were cars with the Kitrack 260 5 step, and after restyling, they installed 6 speed manual transmission ICIN AY6 and Tremec T56 BW6060. They relied only on V8 engines, and they just can be found in the first generation. And to be honest, very few people here wanted a powerful car with manual transmission. The drift on a Cadillac in Russia looks like wildness. GM 5L40E automatic series covers the entire power range CTS. It is intended for motors with a torque up to 340 nanometers, but without serious loss resource can digest to about 420 nanometers. This machine is reliable enough and subject to regular oil changes even in the riders can pass 200-300 thousand kilometers. By the time the box appeared on the CTS, childhood illnesses had been largely eliminated, but after 2004, the well body was seriously changed, increasing its reliability. The entire solenoid package was changed and the mechanical part was slightly corrected. The box has many design options that differ in friction clutches in the drums depending on the load. We can say that after the 2004 merging of the mechanics of the box a little bit raised. The main factor limiting the resource of the box is the wear of the linings of the gas turbine engine. Automatic transmission during active driving is able to load this unit very intensively, which leads to its active wear. By the way, in sport mode, due to the rigid switching algorithms in the automatic transmission itself, the clutches wear out very quickly. In case of critical wear of the gas turbine engine, the box is sent for repair due to the pump breakdowns and well body contamination, so do not bring it to this point. At the first sign of all contamination, change it and repair the gas turbine engine. The second reason for the appearance of problem is overheating of the box. It is closely related to the first, since the occurrence of slippage causes increased heating. Also, overheating can be triggered by dirty radiators and fan malfunctions. It is better to play if safe it's safe by installing an additional section of radiator for the box. The radiator has a very weak thread to the fittings and it is easy to tear it off. Highways are rarely changed for new ones. The price of a set is about 3000 rubles, but they are recompressed regularly. It costs about 10,000 and in the good service the results are good. And yet the oiling of the cooling line and the temperature of the box must be monitored. At oil temperatures about 110-120 degrees, it is imperative to tackle the box cooling system, and it would be best to put an external filter as well. This automatic transmission has a rotary oil pump, which doesn't like dirty and viscous, viscous oils very much and is afraid of overheating. It is not worth pouring a Dextron tube here, driving it actively in winter without warming up the box and turning the engine raining for a long time. A characteristic sign of starting problems at the pump is the slip of the direct and forward packages. Due to the wedging of the rotor petals, pressure surges appear, which is why the box occasionally issues hard switching. This happens especially, especially often at the high crankshaft speed and sometimes leads to damage to the rubber pistons of the box. And here it should be noted that it was precisely because of the design of this part and the repairman didn't like this box very much. It is difficult to put a piston in place without special equipment. No special nozzles and kits for their cooling are offered. And even 10 years ago, the probability of the successful assembly of this automatic transmission was low. However, even now, an average automatic transmission repair shop may be definite to you about the non-repairability of the GM box. Well, body solenoids are also very sensitive to oil quality. The box has a good margin of adaptability, and even with a serious drop in oil pressure due to damage to the pistons, the solenoids and the pump can hold the box. 
but you will have to pay with the increased wear of this very solenoids and the pump. Simple replacement of the solenoids usually doesn't help for long. Under no normal conditions, they'll, they will require replacement with runs of 250-300,000 km, but after wear, the gearbox machines require replacement more and more often, almost every 20-30,000. It is mainly the line pressure solenoids and the interlock solenoid that are affected. By the way, the line pressure solenoid is available in a reinforced version from Borgwarner code 206431BW. With very active driving, wear off the clutches if possible, if the hydraulic system is still functioning normally. Repair will require complete removal of the box, 10-18,000 rubles for a new set of clutches and another 10-13,000 for pistons. Since the box is very tenacious, the amount of associated damage during prolonged operation in the emergency condition can be great. Those who do not want fragmentally change the oil in the automatic transmission suffer from the well plate and the solenoids and the pump's stator channel and the stator surface and the box sleeve. You can even wait for the hydraulic plate fistula. These boxes are very well known in BNV series because they were installed on X5, X3, 5th and 3rd series until 2010. The automatic transmission of this BMW is almost exactly the same as on the CTS. They have all the filling and consumables compatible. Russian Cadillac mainly got V6 engines, but we can find CTS with a small block V8 engine. But there is no need to complain, for the vast majority of drivers the power range is from 181 horsepower to 257. It is quite sufficient, especially since a very su successful 3.2 liter engine with a capacity of 218 horsepower. Don't ride golden mean, and for a car weighing under 2 tons is almost ideal. Of the common disadvantages of motors, we note a weak cooling system, prone to leaks and with difficulty accelerated airlocks. In the electrics of motors, control units, lambda sensors, fan resistors, cooling fans themselves, injector wiring and chokes are supplied. But there are no especially expensive parts here, and the chokes can be cleaned and their electronics washed with alcohol without additional plumbing work. You can easily remove the mechanism covers. Motors of 54 degree were installed on cars until 2006, and the 2.6-liter engine was replaced a little earlier, and the 3.2-liter engine lasted a year longer. These are the old series of engines, known in various variants since 1993. As the name implies, the camber angle in engines 54 degrees. This eliminates the need for a balance shaft and makes the motor compact and fairly easy. The motor is well developed with the particular participation of Lotus specialists and are in many respects similar to the motors of the GM family 2 series, a second generation DOHC cylinder head. The design of the cylinder head, valves and piston group are the same. The design as a whole is very conservative, a cast iron block, a timing belt drive with a conventional tensioner, an oil pump on the crankshaft, a pump in the block and the intake manifold with two throttle valves and variable geometry. The motors are distinguished by good workmanship, they were made in England and therefore a good resource and very high maintainability. On engines of earlier series until 1997, there were weak oil pumps. This problem doesn't apply to Cadillac CTS engines, but this time the oil pump was replaced with a new one. In addition, on engines with a volume of 3.2 and 2.6 liters, EGR was removed, which greatly polluted the intake and was often the cause of early wear of the piston group. As a result, the average engine resource reached 300,000 km, and individual copies quite confidently crossed the half million mark without repairing the piston group. And this is despite the relatively weak cylinder head, worn well guides, and associated well packing leaks can dramatically increase the inevitability of repairs. The design feature of 8054 degree in CTS is the use of plastic cylinder head covers. Over time, they wrap and flow, usually directly onto the exhaust manifolds and occasionally even cause fires in the engine compartment. The problem is solved by improving op the operation of the crankcase ventilation system by installing a PCV valve and remaining the ventilation nozzle into the throttle space. Of course, new gaskets installed with sealant correctly applied to the ends and the correct tightening torque of the bolts will not interfere. A radical solution to the problem of covered leaks is also possible installing them with an opal vectra. They are metal and stretch better. Just take into account that covers with a square cutout for the ignition module and not for the spark plug tips are only available on rare 2.6 liter engines from 2000 to 2002, and more massive covers of 2.5 liter engines will have to be modified by cutting square hole instead of round. However, the difference in the price of the cups will more often offset, will more than offset the costs. 
Note that replacing the covers will not save you from leaking oil seals. The common weak points of all engines of this series is the leaking water oil heat exchanger in the collapse of the block. Because of it, you can get an emulsion in the crankcase and the cooling system. It is better to remove it altogether and install an external radiator to cool the engine oil. Engines with a volume of 3.2 liters have an increased diameter of the cylinders and pistons on them are great rarity. And if 2.6 liter engines during overhaul can be bored under the very common 86 mm pistons while receiving a good increase in displacement, the 3.2 liter engine will either have to be cased or order it a forged piston group or wait for the original ones for months repair pistons. Or you can change the block to a 3 liter one and put 86 mm or stock pistons. True, the blocks until 1998 will have to be modified to install a new type of oil pump or install an oil pump from 1998 to 2000. But for a 3.2 liter engine, it is more difficult to find a crankshaft. It is forged and popular for tuning this series of engines. This series of engines has enough minor problems. There are intake manifolds, leaks, and the junction. Exhaust manifolds crack due to thermal deformation. Hydraulic lifters are very sensitive to oil pressure. The weak crankshaft oil seal is not much more powerful than the front end oil seals. The oil glass gasket is prone to leaks. The ignition modules here are solid. For three cylinders each, they are expensive. By the way, if you have to change the hydraulic lifters, they will fit from Deo Nexa DOHC. When the machines are 10 years old, all this already affects reliability, although by and large all these troubles are eliminated separately cheaply. It's only when the car is running, all these little things will result in a hefty pretty penny. Parts are generally very cheap and readily available. The main components are strong, the main thing is not to run to the point where a contract motor is required. However, there is also a good choice here. The main difficulties for motors are still associated with the ECU and electrical equipment. The degree of forcing of the 2.6, 3.2 motors is very moderate, they are not sharpened at all for maximum power. True, they also have good potential. Steinmetz, when installing a compressor, received more than 300 horsepower on the stock piston group and in the USA, the number of pressurization kits in the block is quite large, although the most popular STC tuning option is simply installing a larger V8. Engines with a volume of 2.8 liters and 3.6 liters of the new high feature HFV6 LP1 family are known from us from Chevrolet Captiva of road vehicles, and the supercharged version of this 2.8 liter engine is well known from Opel Vax C and Insignia cars. The catalog was fitted with a 3.6 liter LY7 and a 2.8 liter LP1. These motors are completely new, developed by Australian Holden. They have an aluminum block with cast iron sleeves, a timing chain drive, phase shifters, a lot of plastic in the design, one repair size, and a fairly high degree of boost for both atmospheric and turbocharged engines. For example, supercharged version of 3.6 L engines produce all 160 horsepower and naturally aspired once more than 300. And there are options with direct injection, an integrated exhaust manifold, a carbon fiber inlet, and engines for running on gas and E85 fuel. The motors are uniquely modern, lightweight and powerful, and even probably environmentally friendly. But more modern designs also have their own modern drawbacks. First of all, it should be noted the low resource of the piston group and timing. And if the piston with timely replaced catalyst and accurate operation still allows you to hope for a resource of up to 300,000 km, then the timing belt costs a lot, and its resource is average 120-160,000. Given the tendency of chains to jump, you need to be very wary of the morning noises of chains and clutter hot. Catalysts in our conditions are very vulnerable and with runs over 100,000 can begin to dust into the cylinders. As usual, they do not tolerate cold starts, poor fuel, 90 second gasoline instead of the recommended 95-98 due to a misunderstanding of the 91 RON inscription and the wrong oil. The motor is expensive and inconvenient to repair. For example, replacing the chains, there are three of them here, requires the obligatory removal of the front panel of the motor. Moreover, it is possible to damage the control valves of the phase shifters, which are right through into the body of the block. Simply replacing the old timing belt with a new one will not work. The new kit doesn't have a lower damper, which wears out very intensively and requires replacement. And the damper comes only with an oil pump, and the new damper doesn't fit the old oil pump. We'll have to change the old pump, which is difficult to buy on a catalog. An old style oil pump from Insignia costs 15,000, a new one 10. Face regulators of the old model cost 30,000 a piece, 
The new one costs 13, but the CTS will also need to replace the valves. The pump is installed in the front engine cover, the same one that is removed to replace the timing. During assembly and disassembly, antifreeze can easily get into the oil and, if it is of poor quality, then the surface of the cover and block corrode. In extreme cases, the cover will require repair or replacement. The price of the assembly is about 50,000, and the front plane of the block will have to be sanded. The intake manifold has specific bolts with sealing inserts and requires very careful assembly. If the order and tightening torque are not followed, you can easily skew the collector and, of course, get air leaks. In addition, the plastic sealing inserts can be dropped into the hole in the lower part of the collector, from where it will be extremely difficult to get it. There are many more such nuances. The result is a structure that the average service would rather ruin than fix. And spare parts for it are very expensive, and in order to order something not an exorbitant prices and with a reasonable delivery time, you will often have to work closely with the Opel Chevrolet catalogs. On the CTS, electrical glitches and control unit failures are added to the other disadvantages of these motors. The exhaust system on engines with a volume 3.6 and 2.8 liters is strange, in the form of a single part of a huge X-shaped structure from the engine to the rear cans. Considering that this series of motors is more than 10 years old, there is a lot of trouble with them, and repairing and even just servicing them is not a cheap pleasure. On this information about the problems of the Cadillac CTS is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.